What do you know? It is episode 5 and the series is still going strong. I'm still uploading videos to YouTube. It's an insane thing. It's absolutely plum wild. I think I'm gonna spunk. Anyways, yes, in the last one, we set up fully automatic bites forever, which means... And it... What? Still working out the kinks with that one because we haven't used RTGs for that system yet. It's just the medium generator, so it's going to be a little funky when we're outside of render distance. But it seems like it's working, at least for now. And so that means we should be getting 160 bytes per minute for the rest of time, which basically means from here on out, we can unlock whatever we want in order to do whatever we want in any video in the future, which means that we're basically in the late game already, which is pretty nice. We can kind of just do whatever. And so, right now, obviously, that's going to start with us unlocking the large rover because we don't need the medium rover or any of that other stuff. We're going to go straight for this one. And what you'll notice if you look real close is that it takes an aluminum alloy, which is really cheap, and rubber, which is even more cheap. The real problem here is the exo chips, but that's not going to be a problem because I'm going to show you how we're going to get those the lame and easy way. Because the thing about exo chips that makes them hard to get is that you need dynamite, which means you need soil. Sulfur, which means you need to go to Kalidor, but actually you don't because uh, you can just find dynamite on the home planet, which is what we're going to do. And I have a gravity globe and these are really easy to get. So if you don't have one, then all you have to do is look for one of these things right here. They are pretty daggum common and they usually have all kinds of nice stuff like solar panels. We don't need that because we've got our generator system going strong. But yeah, it'll spawn up here like that and then... Well, it's yours now, so yeah, that's how that works. Anyways, yes, we're going to roam the face of the planet in said gravity globe until we can find a piece of dynamite on a wrecked platform. And so next time you see me, it's because I found a piece of dynamite on a wrecked platform. Okay, so I didn't find it in a platform. I found it in this crash satellite thing, which, uh, you know, so whatever you can do in this life, I guess. Pro tip time. If you get lost while exploring, hold R, get your compass out, and your home base will appear on the compass. I don't need to do that, though, because I don't get lost. I'm cool. I don't get lost. And so, yeah, now that you have a dynamite, you're going to use that to blow open an exo cache to get exo chips. And so exo caches on the home planet can be found in the forests or in the caves. And I've had enough gravity globing for now, so I'm going to choose to do caves. Anyways, yes, all we gotta take with us is an oxygenator, uh, and our dynamite, of course, then a whole bunch of tethers, and it's time to go to Glacio to get a bunch of exo caches. Now, I know it kinda sucks that we have to leave the planet in order to get exo caches when we were kind of trying to avoid that by finding the dynamite on the home planet in the first place, but really, just going to Glacio to get exo caches isn't as annoying as going to Kalidor to set up a whole base to get the sulfur so that we can craft the dynamite, and then we would still have to get the exo caches after that, so I think this is better. Yeah. Oh, and I accidentally landed in the same spot I landed back in the day when I got a bunch of bites here, which is a crazy work, really insane luck. So I can just go down here. Then I can just follow this tether line until I find the exo caches. So that's going to be fun. Here's one. We're just going to take it back to our tether line and sit it here while we progress further down it to get more. Oh, and here's a second one. And not even that far away. We can still see the first one from here. And number three. And a fourth one uh, that I actually already passed and didn't see because it was hiding in these courts. Okay, time for the moment we have all been waiting for. Mostly me. I've been waiting for this for a while because I screwed up the process several times. Here we go. We're going to blow up all four of them. Let me really make sure it's in the middle so that I don't screw this up. I only have one dynamite. Would be a shame if I did not get all these open. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. How many is that going to be? One, two. I can't really see because there's a bunch of scrap in the way. Three, oh, four. Nope, not four. Get away from me. Four. Yeah, four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, no. What do I do? I did too good. Wait, ah, oh, yeah. These are just one resonant piece to make. I just kind of forgot I can ditch those. But yes, we're walking away from here with nine exo chips, which is like, I mean, I'm just, look, I could just kiss myself. Anyways, now we're going back to the home planet, and I would like to take a moment to, uh, 
to just mourn, right? Because this was supposed to be the one episode where I, like, knew what I was doing from the start and it was going to be clean. But instead, this is, like, the least clean episode I've done in those series so far. But anyways, as you know, we only needed one of these exo- uh, two? Ah, frick, I don't know. We did not need all these exo chips, though, for the, uh, rover, obviously. We just wanted to gather extras while we had that dynamite. And so, we're going to take the two we needed, I think it was two, and, uh, get my soil canisters back. Then we're going to get an aluminum and the copper we had earlier. Where's the copper we had earlier? There's the copper we had earlier, and we are going to use that to make aluminum alloy, just like that. Meaning that the last thing we need is rubber, which I, uh, I don't remember the recipe. Pretty sure it's resin and organic, which is convenient because there's an organic over here. We're about to find out together if I know how to play Astroneer. So, rubber, rubber. Yeah, I could have just... Anyways, yeah, so that, I was right. Anyways, so now we have everything we need, and also, if you'll notice, I actually, uh, somehow something extra made its way into my backpack. I don't really know what to make of that, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's everything we have right here that we need. I don't know why I said it like that. Let's retry. So this is everything we need for the large rover, and so let's go ahead and get that sucker crafted. Wait, what the frick did I just do? Alright, no. We're gonna craft this on Aatrox, because that's where we're doing it. I just had a stroke. Oh, well, yeah, also, my oxygenator's just not on the base, so I almost died. But yes, technically, we only need one large rover in order to do the soil rover thing. And so, I might just start off with that. Actually, no, 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 no. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Technically, we only need one, but I will do two large rovers. You know, one that we drive and one that as a trailer and so i think that'd be a decent thing to do you know i think it would be i think it'd be nice so uh, i think i'm getting ahead of myself just a little bit i want to explain much better to you what we're doing after i move these to a better spot so yes as already stated we're gonna have a large rover it's gonna have obviously the seat on the front and we're going to you know have that one also have some soil canisters on the back and what i mean by soil canisters is obviously the big ones right here Yes, right here. Yes, this. We're going to have these on the back of it, right? So that we can hold a bunch of soil. I think these hold 24 soil apiece. I don't know how. I don't remember some of this stuff. Pretty sure it's 24 small soil canisters worth of soil apiece. And so, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. One, The front half of one of the large rovers is going to be drive, and the back half is going to be these. And then the other rover is going to be, obviously, just the trailer for the driving one. And it's going to be completely full of these. And I'm really not going to go into any more detail right now as to how that's going to work. Actually, I will a little bit, because I just realized how I could explain that easier. Because we're going to need this son of a gun as well, which only costs three ceramic to craft, and 2,000 bytes to unlock, but bytes aren't really uh, a factor for us anymore. So, three ceramic, no big deal. Ceramic is smelted clay, if you didn't know, and clay is, like, really annoying to get, actually, normally, so use the soil centrifuge every time. And clay is, like, really freaky, because it only gives you six instead of four or eight. It gives you, like, six. That's just a weird number. But that's just the way it works in life. That's how much clay you get from the soil centrifuge. But yeah, that's all we're going to need for the rover, except for that you do want an RTG eventually. But we don't really want to have to deal with that yet. We'll do it soon enough, but not quite yet. For now, I'm just going to do a really, really, really annoying strategy. Well, it's really not too annoying. And just use a solar panel and only drive the rover during the day. But like I said, soon enough, I hope to uh, use an RTG because that's just better. Now, we're only going to need nine ceramic to get all of the, uh, theses that we need, large storages. We're only going to need nine ceramic for all those we need, because we only need three of them. The thing that's gonna suck is that we need one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve of these, which means that we obviously need twelve of both glass and plastic. Really not that big of a deal, but sort of annoying. So you're just gonna have to spam a bunch of plastic and glass. Okay, this has been a rough video, but here, right here, I believe is everything that we are going to need to make a rover that gets us a bunch of soil. So let me explain. These four right here is for, you know, one of the rovers. And then this right here is for the other rover, one obviously being the driving one, and the other being the trailer one. This right here, the tungsten carbide and the ceramic, is for the drill that's actually going to drill the soil. We also want to make a paver eventually, but for reasons I'll mention here in a minute, we're not going to do that quite yet. These right here are for the large storages, which is, uh, this thing, if you don't remember, 
And then on top of those, we're going to have, you know, all 12 of these soil canisters right here, which I'm going to have to get a calculator because I'm bad at math. But each of those holding 24, and then we have 12 of them, that's going to be 288 soil canisters wow. worth of soil. And we don't even have to do all four large rovers that you're allowed to have in a, you know, rover chain. We only need two for that. And so that's incredible because if we add two more rovers to our rover, I don't really know how to word that, but you know what I'm saying. If we did all four, it'd be an insane amount of soil, but for now, we're just going to do those first two. And so, yes, also, I'm missing something. No, 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 I'm not. I already crafted it. My bad. This is the solar panel we're going to use until we can get an RTG. kind of sucks, but that's just the way life is when you don't have an RTG, and we're not going to make one yet because, yeah, and we don't want to wait until we can make one because that would also suck. So, we're just going to go ahead and go, and then... The last thing over here, which I didn't really mention much, is that we need this right here for a large printer, and we need this right here for a large platform A. Because yes, we are actually going to be utilizing the base that we made in the last video that just researches methane all the time, because we already have a small and a medium printer here, so we can kind of use those to just kind of, you know, draft off of that to make what we need in order to craft the rover and also have the power from these generators. It's just very convenient so we can craft everything here really easily. But actually, there's a second reason that we're going to land here and use this base as well. And that's because we want to have the paver, as I said, we want to have the paver for our rover in addition to the drill. And so we need methane for that, actually. So we're just going to steal this and take it back home. But, uh, yes, we're going to drop off the materials we brought just now and go get what's left on the home base, and I will see you when that has occurred. Okay, so here we are on Aatrox with everything we need to set up this giant large rover, and, uh, including the paver, because, you know, I did snatch that methane and go back home to get the other stuff, so I went ahead and made the paver as well. And so basically now all we have left to do is a whole bunch of crafting, starting with, obviously, the rovers themselves, so we're going to start with that. Two mixo chips, a rubber, and an aluminum alloy and obviously I have that twice for both the rovers. And it's so, so nice, truly, that we are deciding to uh, piggyback off of this base that we used for the uh, research chamber over there because that basically means that we have as much power as we need. We can fully power that large printer, no problem, which would be a nightmare to wait on otherwise. Also, my favorite thing in the world is uh, making a YouTube video on Aatrox at nighttime because it's completely and totally black. And I hate that, even though I'm not racist. Maybe I am. Okay, well, since that's how it's going to be, we're going to do a little bit of uh, other things while we're waiting. So the next thing, obviously, would be the storages that go on to this rover. So this. And by the way, I forgot the resources we need for the seat, which is going to be uh, not expensive at all. Just two compound. But still, I always forget something. It's my trademark. Oh, okay. It's right here. Did not know it was right here quite nice and you know sometimes in life you just gotta like dodge missiles while you're mining compound that's just how it is finally got one rover crafted so we're gonna wait 18 years so we can do that again and uh, yeah in the meantime it's gonna keep on crafting the other two of these that we need and i'll be back with you when that's done so that we can further our adventure and you know it's still pitch dark so yeah sorry about that i guess it's just never ever gonna be daytime here which by the way not good because i i kind of am using a solar panel for this rover so yeah by the way we are here on aatrox and on aatrox you can find nano carbon alloy already made in the crashed satellites so you know if you want to just look for that and then run to visania or something for some lithium you could have an rtg at this point already but i'm probably not going to do that but it depends on how annoyed i get really i guess i mean it could happen we don't know oh my god Goodness, it's daytime on Aatrox. I didn't even know that that could happen anymore. It's been so long since I've seen it. But yes, everything's crafted now. All of it. So now all we have to do is just put it all in a, within a decent range, for crying out loud. And then we can throw it all together into one beautiful masterpiece. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to use this thing! Woo! Ah. Okay, I might have played that up a little bit. Look, I'm not going to lie. The reason I'm not entirely excited is because I'm a little bit stressed about the fact that I decided to use a solar panel. But it's like, I don't really know that I want to spend the time today to get an RTG because nanocarbon alloy is not a silly thing to retrieve. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm the laziest person who has ever lived, and I'm okay with that. But yeah, hopefully if I explained it earlier in a way that was sort of confusing you, you are no longer confused now because you're seeing it unfold. We're just putting all of these on here just like this so that we have a ton of capacity for storage 
and then uh, we seat the power right beside the actual seat. And so, as long as it's daytime, this is the same as an RTG. It puts out the exact same amount of power, but then whenever it's nighttime, well, yeah, it quits that. And as you can see, the rover itself has a bit of battery life just built into it, but that's not really going to get us through the night at all. It's kind of useless, to be honest with you. It doesn't last very long. It takes me back to the good old days before the RTG was added to the game, back when we had to actually just use batteries and wind power and solar power to get our... Uh, rovers around, and the medium generator. We could have used that too, but it took coal back then, not carbon. And if you don't know what coal is, that's because it's not in the game anymore. That's why you don't know. Yeah, we're going to unpack these and rotate them such that they're not facing stupid directions, because if they're facing stupid directions, that's stupid. And there we go. Our masterpiece is complete. And just so that you can understand how efficient this thing is at gathering soil, that's actually how I'm going to end this episode. We are going to gather all the soil that this thing can hold, hopefully before it turns night, because apparently I'll have to wait eight years for it to become day again. But yes, we're going to gather this thing full of soil, which holds so much soil, so that whenever we do the soil to scrap thing, which I plan on doing in the next episode, we can just use all this to turn it all into scrap and have a ton of scrap straight out the gate with that, which is going to be so nice. I mean, so nice. Some say it's not so nice, but it is so nice. And so, I haven't been much of a time-lapse guy here in my later years, but I feel like this is very much so a time-lapse moment, so you can see basically the types of routes I prefer to take while doing this kind of thing, and so that you can also kind of get a feel for kind of how quick this gathers soil. I mean, it'll be a time-lapse, so you won't fully know how long it's taking, but you can probably get a rough idea. And so, here we go. <laughs> Look at me. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it, because look, I cut the nights out of this time lapse, right? I'm, that's what I'm going to do, but it just just don't do it, man. Get the RTG. Look, I thought it was going to be like, oh, we can just wait till it's daytime again, but the night cycles are so long. And also, it's just like it didn't work during the daytime a lot because the hills and stuff got in the way. Oh, Oh, I d that took so long. I thought it was going to be quick. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. I need to sleep. That was a rough one, man. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we got all of our soil. Let me do the math on that one more time. What's that going to come out to? Uh, 288 small soil canisters worth of soil is what this is. Get the RTG first. Don't do it. Don't do the solar panel. It's not good. It's bad. The solar panel is a bad thing. It's bad. Oh.